So I was just going through a lot of my YouTube subs, trying to look at who's still making content on SEO and websites, things like that. And I just noticed that a lot of the past uh, creators aren't making anything anymore. And strangely, a lot of them have even like deleted a lot of their content. So I just wanted to show you some of these channels and that used to be um, creating content in this space and maybe they're not because of the helpful content update. Maybe we could base that off of the last time they published, but just take a look at some of these and you might even be able to figure out a few channels that have good content for you to check out as well, other than mine. But a lot of you are probably familiar with Amelia Gardner. She was making, she's like a lawyer that turns uh, niche website creator and um, her channel kind of blew up for a little bit, I believe. Let's see. Um, that one's mine there. Yeah, so this one has, well, this one's only 500 subs and yeah, 5,000 here. And it, I think she got a lot of subs really quickly, but now there's just nothing. The last time she posted was a year ago. And that, I think that timeline is about right for when stuff started to really get hit after that. So maybe that's why she's no longer uploading. But there's her channel. Um, but then M Matt from Money Lab, I haven't seen anything for him in over a year as well. Um, I know he had swimuniversity.com, uh, a very popular affiliate site that uh, he's known for, and I believe it got smashed in the update as well. Um, if you have an AHREF subscription, uh, you can check that out, uh, or a SimRush. I'm pretty sure he got uh, you know torn apart, but he hasn't published. Passive Income Geek. This guy was, uh, this is a really cool dude here. Very down to earth, has some good videos, but I think he even sold one of his websites for a hefty amount, and I forget it was, um, it was on Tiny Living, or I can't remember, something in that space of like um, minimalism, tiny housing, um, living, or RVs, something like that. And I think he, he might have been able to exit before, um, shit hit the fan i guess but you know it's been over a year last video taking a break uh one hour professor uh i met this guy through the authority authority hacker group he hasn't posted in over two years uh, i know he moved to him and his wife moved to um uh, puerto rico so they could take advantage of the what four or five percent federal tax rate um and things like that but he, he sold one of his sites and had trouble then all the stuff recently and haven't heard from him from him. Then there's Hostel of Vista Boss. Same thing. Two years ago, uh, started making content around some different stuff other than SEO, which I think was a good idea. Um, you know, because SEO is just a channel of marketing. It shouldn't be who you are as a whole. You shouldn't. I don't think people shouldn't label themselves as an SEO. It's more of just um, you know, it's one marketing channel out of many others. So. Um, and then there's Sean Mars, which um, I really liked Sean, a lot of his videos. And, but I thought it was strange that he, all of these are either unlisted or deleted. Um, you know, there's no videos showing up for him anymore. Just a few here. The Zoic situation and uh, pivoting to YouTube. Different, um, different things like that. But yeah, all his niche site content is just not there. Uh, Growth Scouter. This was a guy I found in the Fat Stacks group with uh, John Dykstra, and uh, he was doing really well, uh, making a lot of money. Um, and but I haven't seen much content from him. Although I guess he hasn't, didn't really produce a lot of content altogether anyway. But the stuff he did put out was pretty good. Let's see who else do we got? Keith. This was another strange one to me. Um, was Keith because. He would put out content pretty regularly, but again, it's just all deleted or unlisted, which I don't know, you know, why they're doing that unless they're hiding from something or ashamed of some of the stuff they said about the sites, maybe. Not really sure. Another one here, Jasper Peterson. He's still putting out videos three weeks ago, but um, I think his niche site content, you know, is away. So we got income school a year ago. What else? Um... Yeah, that looks like it's about it. Everything else since that long ago, he's been testing other things than niche sites. Who else do we got? Um, Blog Sprout. I think this was uh, some lady that was kind of new into publishing. This was her first or one of her early attempts at growing. And it uh, looks like she got up, you know, what's here, two and a half, three thousand. 
Um, I was kind of following her journey and then, you know, just they kind of fell off here. Uh, next one. Oh, Brandon. I think Brandon is the creator of um, Retro Dodo, if you're familiar with that. I don't know why all his videos are unlisted as well. I think he's starting up a, I don't forget the name of it, but it's some kind of like a uh, collectible sock company, like custom made socks, something like that. Uh, but Retro Dodo got smashed um, as well. He, he did have a video out talking about having to save his company and things like that. Maybe that was his other channel, not this one. Uh, maybe there's a dedicated Retro Dodo channel, but I'm pretty sure it, it was this one. Diabetic Game Guy, he might be watching this video. Still posted uh, two months ago. It's about a regular schedule for him. Glad to see him still posting. Um, who else do we got? Um, and Moss. And Moss was making tons of money in these sites. Um, she was blasting out like a hundred articles every like two days or three days. She had like a huge team. Um, and I know she was making, she's part of the fat stacks group and I'm friends with a guy that actually went and talked to her in person whenever she was living in Florida. And, um, he was telling me some stuff about her, but she, I think she was making like 200,000 plus per month. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on there. I know she didn't post a lot anyway on YouTube, but just, there's nothing there now. Now, kind of a ghost town. Next up, we got uh, Ariel Phoenix. She still posts. Uh, looks like, because she does a lot of social media, AI, um, a lot of, lots and lots of AI of uh, in social media content for her sites. And looks like she still posts. It's just maybe slowed down a bit, so that's good to see. Next up, we got Shane, and this guy still posts, but he never has posted that frequently. Um, he's part of a company called Three Ships. I believe he's like uh, not the CEO, but uh, he's pretty high up in the company um, for SEO and stuff. They own like a portfolio of sites and manage a bunch of things. Not really sure how they're doing, but he's got some really good content. If you haven't seen any of his stuff, uh, next we have Tortoise Cash Flow. <laughs> I like watching this guy. I think. Um, I don't know if it's like dry humor or something, but like some of his emotions he has about his site make me chuckle. So, um, but see like the last one we got here, I am done, killed all my website six months ago. Okay, there we go. We had a faceless YouTube channel and I checked on his YouTube channel again to see if he's still doing it. And it looks like he hasn't been posting on there either. So I'm not really sure what he's up to. Um, let's see, Carl Broadbent, a lot of you probably know him. He's definitely pivoted. I don't even know if he's doing sites anymore though. I've seen, I've been watching a few of his videos, but I know he's doing like this something side hustle group or something that he's trying to pivot away from niche sites. And that's probably a good thing. Uh, his contents, his, his content's okay. Um, some of his website stuff, I, I always found like hit or miss, but uh, overall he's pretty good. Doug Cunnington, another really good one. Um, Doug is like, a veteran in this space posting for a long time um, he's also got a, another channel called I think it's mile hi-fi uh, if you're into like financial independence things like that you should go check that out um, Doug is, is one of the guys that kind of believes in like living below your means um, uh, fire and retiring early and all of these uh, financial topics and he's he's really good to go to for that if you're interested in, the, in those kind of things uh, then we got Sir Links a lot. So this is a newer one I found. Um, he talks about a lot of SEO and obviously link building. And I've only seen a few of his videos, some of his content. And but he's not afraid to show or have people on his channel that talk about black hat or gray hat strategies or st um, things like that. So that if you're into that, definitely will check him out. It's very interesting um, watch there. I definitely need to go back and watch some more of his videos. Then we got Alex Cooper. Should have put on my WP Eagle t-shirt, but it seems like Alex is also pivoting. Um, we could have, um, was it Estepona.life? Um, he's trying to go more local. I think that's great. And I also have a video coming up on how I'm going local with some local SEO and things like that. Not quite what he's doing. I'm doing a rank and rents. Um, so I have a video coming up on that if you're interested, but, um, but he's also targeting like a local space. 
and also pivoting. Um, he's going into more like WordPress tutorials and looks like maybe like productivity stuff. And that's probably because he's friends, good friends with Doug. Doug does a lot of producti productivity type of videos. Um, then we got, last up, we got uh, Jackie here. Well, not last up, but second to last. Jackie from Indexy. Uh, I joined his advice group, uh, which is very good. He's the one that's kind of got me interested in doing the local rank and rents. Really great content. Just kind of like no no BS, built in public style. Um, very good stuff to watch there. Should definitely go check him out. Uh, and then last, I have Authority Hacker. Always have been making videos. Probably the most veteran, uh, most authoritative uh, source in the space, in my opinion. Um, you know, a lot of people would say that might be income school or something like that. I highly disagree. Um, Authority Hacker doesn't have the same amount of subscribers, but their level of knowledge and expertise is far uh, beyond a lot of what you'll find on some other channels. So if you're not aware of them, you should go check them out. I'm also part of their group. Highly recommended. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to pull up and see why a lot of these people have disappeared. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know why you think they've disappeared. Is it because of the helpful content update? Maybe it's something else, but uh, it'd be cool to see some of these guys come back, start posting again, because uh, it seems like during the golden days, it's kind of like a community of like just these small creators all doing SEO or talking about their journeys uh, and building sites. A lot of that's disappeared. Uh, so even if they're not building sites, I think it'd be cool to still see their journey in business or entrepreneurial endeavors, things like that. But yeah, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think.